Welcome to Twitterati for week 15 of 2013, second Wednesday of April. And today's Twitterati is, is looking back on quite a major news story that's been across the UK news. And that's the unfortunate story of Paris She's, Brown. Thank you. She's, Paris Brown is the British czar. Yeah, she was... Of, of Twitter or what? Well, no, what, she was appointed she? by the Kent... Um, police commissioner to be the voice of teenagers. teenagers. In, in terms of policing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, and it was a proper job. It was um, £15,000 a year. It's a lot for a 17-year-old. Um, £5,000 of that was coming directly out of the Kent commissioner's wage herself. That's interesting. Um, and only three days after it was announced, the press had gone through the poor girl's personal life and discovered that in 2011, when she was 15, she had made some comments on Twitter about different various different television shows referring to um, gypsies as pikeys and just using those derogatory slang terms that we kind of all have when we're youngsters. And it's not until you encounter adult company or world company where someone turns around to you and says, actually, that language isn't mm. acceptable mm. that you start to learn what is acceptable the boundaries what, yeah mm. and after six days um she had said that she wouldn't resign and the commission said no i employed her because she was a normal teenager you know this has happened but unfortunately today she has resigned oh is she really yeah so it's, it's very brave very brave of them to back stand behind her though as well because you know it sort of validates that you know people do make mistakes they do make whatever mistakes. you think about her comments or whatever this is the world we live in now is that people are throwing their data all over the planet without a care in the world yeah. not understanding the ramifications of it and that we need education on yeah. that in the same way that we've got sort of healthcare uh, and, and learning about sort of uh, drink and drugs and alcohol yeah. addiction and all well, that sort of stuff I think we have a responsibility to the young teenagers who are being exposed to this world who are going to become the lawyers t tomorrow mm. and a lot of people who you know, going to, to to crime prevention and into law quite often have been on the wrong side of the law when they were younger. Yeah. And that's what inspires them to, to raise themselves out of what they encountered when they were younger. Mm. And I think it's a real shame. And I think the question should have been, what was your life like at that time, you know, to be using that language? Why mm. was it acceptable at that time? Or... As it is, she's lost her job, which was a fantastic opportunity for a 17-year-old. Mm. And it's also brought up the, the, the notion of the right to be forgotten, which kind of ties into digital legacy again, where people want to be able to delete all their information. Mm. So, you know, if you look at someone's resume when they're 30, and they're, you know, they're very nice, upstanding, but you look at their social media history and discover they don't have any, mm. what does that say about them? Yeah. You know. Well, which, is, which is this whole thing about uh, trying to connect the analogue and digital worlds, because, you know, somebody who rents or has property only sees one figure, and that is a figure that they've got in mind that they don't, they, mm. that they kept that investment for, they don't understand the social, they probably do understand the social change, but don't think it impact, mm. impacts them. It's one of the reasons why we gave all the money away from our TEDx Lace Market event, all the £12.50s from the 90 odd people that came, every single penny of it went to a local charity, which is the Galleries of Justice, which helps bring, mm. you know, uh, kids from schools who can't afford to go in to learn about law. Yes. To, look, to learn yeah. about the, 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 the courtroom at an early age. And I think those are the projects that you've got to support mm. because we don't want sort of just middle-class yeah. white guys it as is, lawyers. But, we need a whole spectrum of yeah. people, you know. But we should also be a little bit more tolerant about how young people develop their vocabulary. Yeah, totally. And accepting that they're going to pick up words that aren't the acceptable conversation and it's up to us to explain to them coherently why those particular terms are not acceptable and are seen as derogatory yeah so i think a sort of discussion do watch the rest of the twitter artists which just look at the issues that we've discovered over the weeks around twitter not just how to use it but what's going on on twitter and check out seller54.tv